Good morning and you're very welcome to this morning's live. Now this morning is the last in our trend series of live Q&As and I thought we'd end with uh, cooking. One of the trends that I suppose we've all had to embrace or you know <laughs> tackle over the last while because that's our only option at the moment and I know from talking to so many people and even myself those three little words what's for dinner can just be the last thing you want to hear at this stage. So I decided that we'd ask um, Karen Finnerty, who does, uh, you know, deals with all of the cooking appliances in Cal. She is so knowledgeable, so experienced, a fabulous cook herself. So she is um, going to come on today and just tell us what appliances are out there that can help us uh, turn the chore of cooking into something that we can all enjoy again, just make mealtime prep much easier. And you know, there are some fabulous appliances out there, whether they're sort of countertop appliances or your built-in appliances, and lots of things to look out for if you're, you know, planning on buying a new oven, whatever it is. So Karen's gonna try and go through all of the questions today. Now, my goodness, we got so many questions. So what I'm going to do, uh, please don't worry if I don't get to your specific question, because there's been lots of repetition, lots of you asking about the same things, you know, induction versus gas, all of this sort of thing. So I've tried to group them as best I can. If we do miss any, I'll try and tackle them in the stories afterwards. And the fabulous people from Cal are there too. So please do reach out to them. They are so experienced. They are there to help. Um, so hopefully now we will um, be able to cover as many questions as we possibly can and make cooking so much easier. In fact, so easy that even those that don't get involved in cooking in your house will have a go. So let's see what we can do. So I see Karen is waiting there now. I'll just invite her, invite her, sorry. Here we go. Good morning. Hi, Karen. Hi, Denise. How are you? How I'm are you? great. I'm great. Listen, thank you so much for doing this today. Uh, we have been inundated with questions. Um, and, and interestingly, Karen, a lot of by, you know, a lot of people asking the same thing. So that there is, uh, there are particularly two areas where there's a huge amount of confusion and nervousness, I think, when people are trying to choose the right appliances for their home. But I know you are uh, the font of all knowledge when it comes to this stuff. So you'd be thank able you. to... <laughs> Um, and the other thing I was hoping that we could do today, because, you know, cooking, it, it's become a bit of a chore. I think we're all exhausted with it now at this stage, even those of us who absolutely love to cook, you know. So anything that we can do to make mealtime prep a little bit easier, a little bit less stressful. Um, and any tips you would have for that, I'm sure would be so welcome by absolutely everybody watching this morning. Brilliant. Yes, absolutely. Well, first of all, thanks, Denise, for having us on board. I'm, I think the second, third person from Cal on June Alive. Yeah. So I, I, I'm laughing saying the hard part is over. I've managed to get to this point and see yeah, you. This, is, the, and this you, is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's easy. It's plain me. sailing from here now. It is. Oh, it, it's I'm, making I'm, sure the Wi-Fi works and the sound works and all these things. That's exactly. Yeah. And we'll see how, how do you feel about it. I said, no, grand. I said, once I can see Denise and Denise sees me, I said, that's the hard part over. Um, but absolutely. <laughs> what I might do, Denise, first of all, is just try and I suppose give the, the customer an idea of what Cal's all about. And yeah. where, where we're located and what brands we actually do. Mm -hmm. So our company are based, we're based in City West, 4078 Kingswood Road, City West Business Campus in Dublin. Mm -hmm. And it's a fantastic showroom. And I know you've been there, Denise, doing some great work in the old oh, it's, it's fabulous. Yes. Yes. Um, and, and to give people an idea, from the brands we do, we have a 14,000 square feet showroom, so a great size, uh, an mm -hmm. auditorium that seats 49 people, mm -hmm. and we've had some wonderful chefs in there doing their thing, and we also train there as well. But starting from the back, I suppose, working right through to all the brands, um, Frankie, so Frankie would be the sinks and the taps and the mm. big thing now is the hot water taps. So the mm -hmm. instant hot water taps are, are huge. 
moving out from that then we have what is our premium brand which is the Dedietrich so it's a beautiful high-end brand in in ovens built in um ovens and we are going to talk and focus more on ovens in a short bit and um, mm. but in this area where I am now at the moment in the showroom what, where I'm talking about it's a try before you buy area so the customer has the advantage of coming along and and cooking on the appliances really before. Karen yes. wow okay Yes. Fabulous. 14 workstations, Denise, um, and there's an oven, a small compact appliance, there's a hub, there's all the different um, appliances, and it gives them the opportunity to even try before you buy. Wonderful. So cook, cook on it and see if this is um, this oven meets their requirements. Mm -hmm. And I suppose also as well, we can train um, staff on how to sell the product, because just on that note, we've a fantastic showroom people come to the showroom to view the product so mm -hmm. we're we're heavily rooted through the kitchen channel and the electrical channel so we don't as such and some people think this we don't sell direct to the end user so we sell to the trade but they come to us to get the best best knowledge and the company are celebrating 40 years this year. I'm with them 20 years. So wow, to okay. see all the different questions asked, and a lot of people would say over the time, yeah. I wish I knew I could have got this before yes. I bought that. But mm -hmm. just getting back, so the try before you buy area, fantastic. We also had the rugby team before they flew to Japan two years, a year and a half ago. They'd done all their healthy cooking there. So we really use it for different events like that as well. Mm. So coming up from that, we've all the Didit Ridge on display. We have um, a fabulous display of the Didit Ridge. We have Whirlpool there as well. Um, moving out to that then, we have the Insincorators, which is the food waste disposers. Um, mm. And we can talk about that too. It's fitted under the kitchen sink and mm. you take down through the sink all your food waste. Um, and look, we all know the smells from bins and everything can be a nightmare. So this fitted, the insincorator to the kitchen sink is fantastic. Mm. We do Nordmende. So Nordmende is, is a huge brand for us, freestanding and built in. And mm. then the SDA side of things. So that's the small domestic appliances in Cal. So mm. it's the, the wonderful KitchenAid and also the Ninja and the Shark products. So mm -hmm. the Ninja is going to be the cooking side of it today and how to make life really, really easier for um, people when they're at home cooking. Well, so amazing, think, Karen. Oh. Like the amount of people that I've spoken to recently who's bought one or their mum has bought a Ninja. So I'm, I'm fascinated to learn about that because yeah. I, I don't know about that product, but people yeah. say wonderful things about it. So <coughs> we're very excited to learn about that. The ninjas are amazing, and yeah. I, I mentioned this to you during the week. There's a support group on Facebook for for the ninja warriors, and you know they were chatting, and some some people are talking away. Congratulations! It's just a great addition to the family, and and I was beginning to get confused, and I'm thinking are they talking about a baby boy or a girl here or is it the ninja they're still talking about no, it's an appliance so this <laughs> like is it. it it's a big deal getting these appliances that yeah. make your life easy uh, yeah. it's a huge deal that it, it is Absolutely. like a new baby arriving you know so yeah. amazing so yeah. listen karen we, we've so many questions right. and i know one of them um one that that came up a lot a lot about steam ovens people anxious are they any good now i have to say and i've said this to a lot of people who ask the question it is probably my favorite appliance in my kitchen. I find it amazing. Exactly. It takes all of the stress out of cooking. Like you can cook multiple things in it. It'll prompt you and tell you when to pop it in. I don't boil anything. The kitchen isn't filling up with steam. Yeah. It yeah. cleans itself. Like it is fabulous. I personally can't recommend them enough, but can you talk to us a little bit about steam ovens yeah. and what people need to think about if they're, you know, considering one in their, in their kitchen? Yeah. The steam oven, Denise, they're fantastic. Um, yeah. And I suppose when somebody is, is picking ovens, the, and I know it's always double ovens or single ovens, and mm -hmm. double ovens are a little thing of the past. They're not as popular, and that's something we can discuss in a minute. And so a when, lot of questions, Karen, about that, actually. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we can talk about that, which we're mm. going to talk about, the, the small compact steamer. So mm. a single oven and a double oven, a single oven versus a double oven. For me, mm. without a doubt, it, 
is a single oven. So time after time, and having done a number of cooking demonstrations, I would have seen a single oven and a small compact appliance built up over the single oven. And that is either a combi oven microwave or a combi oven steamer. And okay. they're, they're a small comp. So it's a a larger size than a double oven space slightly but mm. if, it, if it's a new renovation and if it's a blank canvas and, and they have the room to do this and also we have had people maybe knock into the carpentry work in yep. order to house this single oven and mm. a small compact oven up over it but I can't mm. stress strongly enough a double oven and you'll see even our competitors out there on the market there is not as many double ovens out there anymore the top oven is a very small oven but I suppose people think I had a double oven I always had one yeah. I need one but a lot of people now and a lot of our kitchen um, customers in, in the trade will recommend a small a single oven and a small compact appliance built up over it and mm -hmm. that is the question of either a sink of, of a combi oven microwave or a or. Combi oven steamer so and that's exactly our... Karen what I went for so I went for a single oven and a combi steam um, oven and it's fabulous now I have to say I haven't actually used the oven function in the steamer I just use the steam oven all yeah, the time all the time you know and that's yeah. absolutely fine it is amazing and look we all know to cook with steam retains minerals vitamins flavor color texture very hard to over overcook or burn with steam and mm. to reheat by steam there's no comparison fantastic there's yeah, no really comparison is. but yeah. you know i often think it's when a customer comes into cal denise it, it can be a minefield when they haven't mm. looked at appliances in the yes. last 15 years and unless mm. you're going back to doing a kitchen you're not really going to decide to start just checking out your appliances mm. so it's trying to narrow down and ask the right questions I suppose to the customer what exactly the type of cooking and what exactly they, they're going yeah. to to cook and how many even in the family the, the relevant questions are important the one thing I'll say about steam the steam is fantastic it's very important that when they buy the combi oven steamer that they're not left just using the oven. You know, some people can be, oh, I'm afraid to touch it or I didn't use it. Yeah. Um, but with the steam, because we do have people that would be a little anti-microwave, it's not their thing. So mm. they will move over to steam and steam is very, very popular. And the mm. great thing about the Dedietrich, the brands that we do in steam, mm. Mm. we were the Dietrich invented PyroClean and, and I can say safely were the only um, small compact steamer that is PyroClean. So really, Karen, yeah. that, that is fascinating. Okay, I brilliant. Yeah. remember doing a demonstration on a combi oven steamer. Fantastic mm. results and meat and the end result is fantastic. But there was always mm. that cleaning element at the end of it. That was yeah. a nightmare. But PyroClean <laughs> in the Dedietrich Combi Oven mm. Steamer has made life very, very easy regarding yeah. having steam in a small mm. compact appliance. Mm. The steamer is fantastic. It would be my first option. Um, yes. What some people do as well, Denise, they might go for the single oven and a small compact steamer. Um, which is an amazing appliance, but mm. they have the fear of just not having that microwave somewhere. Well, I was going to say, Karen, if you have teenagers in the house, you do need a microwave. That would be my experience. So what I just did was I popped one in my utility, like really easy to pick up a microwave. And that's really, you know, for reheating or, or yeah, anything you would, would need to do. So yeah, it's worth having one in the house. And again, it's like you said, it's so important to try and get to talk to people to find out, well, what's your lifestyle? Who's in the house? You know, what do you like to cook? What's a typical day? And exactly. then you can advise them as to what exactly. they need. Yeah. And yeah. also just to mention the Dedietrich are launching um, a 60 centimeter large oven oh, that will okay. bring steam into it. And, wow. and that was always the question asked a lot of the time. It's a small compact, it's 45 centimeters. Do we have this in, in, in a large oven, which yeah. we, we will now in the Dietrich in a 60 centimetre? So I think that's a great opportunity for somebody that mm. wants the combi oven microwave, 
small mm. compact appliance, mm. still wants steam, but can have steam built into the, the larger oven underneath. Brilliant. So it's yeah. just a different option. But steam, I always find if anybody is a real foodie and they maybe are big into cooking, steam will certainly be their first option. But um, it's so easy. I, it just is so, there's no standing over pots. There's no watching pots. It just, it beeps when it's ready. It, it tells you when to put in the next thing. It's fantastic. Yeah. It really is. I can't recommend it enough. It's There's fabulous. A programs on the steam as well, as there is on the main ovens, yeah. where it, customers can just put their meat in, select mm. the program, and, mm. and the oven will work out the length, the duration of the time of the piece Brilliant. of meat. So it's, it's a no-brainer. Anybody mm. can be a chef with the And oven. this is what I like, you see? Anybody. So even those that are absolutely terrified of cooking, you can encourage them. No, the oven takes care of it all. So it's brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, get everyone involved. No, yes. great. And actually, we had a, a great question. Just somebody who is looking, so they have a very small kitchen. They want to put something under the counter. So I like the sound of that, uh, the new oven that's coming out that has everything in it. So for them, that, that might be a great way to get all of the, you exactly. know, the appliances in one, perhaps. Absolutely. To be able to put the, the single oven um, under mm. under the counter. Um you know, I suppose my first questions to customers when they're thinking of their ovens, do they steam a lot, first of all? I mean, you, you pay the extra and, you know, sometimes people will say, you know, I, I never really use it that much. So it's important mm. that they will use it. I suppose the great thing about the large 60 centimetre oven um, with the steam is a lot of people over the years would pour water around the, the piece of meat on the drip tray and they're trying to create their own moisture around the food Whereas with this and filling up the water and it, it's very straightforward and, and very mm. easy to get the end result. So absolutely um, a, a great um, opportunity to, to for a single oven and an oven on its own if they don't have the room. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. So, OK, uh, no, that's that's fantastic. Brilliant. Um, so then kind of the next thing. Yeah, the um, and actually with the steam oven, just to end on that, your try before you buy is fantastic yeah. because... That, I think, is a stumbling block for people who most people aren't used to using a steam oven. Mm. That's why I feel they don't get used. So to be able to go in, get the expert advice Absolutely. on how to use it, try it out yourself. Once you know how to use it, I promise you, you will never look back. I mean, yeah. it's it's fantastic. Yeah, it, it is. And I think not more so than ever. <clears throat> excuse me. People are very conscious of, of eating and, and eating well. So it's, mm. it's great to be able to steam the food. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and the fact that it's PyroClean with the Deditridge, that mm. that's fantastic. And, and they invented the PyroClean on all the ovens, mm. you know, which is great on their full it range. Is great. Mm. Yeah. And again, that is another thing that takes absolute stress out of everything. The oven just cleans itself. I mean, that really is one of the most mm. awful jobs to have to tackle. So <laughs> another wonderful feature to include for anybody who's getting an oven is to look yeah. at the PyroClean option. Yeah. It's all. It's always the sorry, Denise. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's always the same questions asked when a customer comes through. They would say, "I want a large oven, so I want a good size oven. I want an oven that's easy to use, and I want an oven that I don't have to clean." Yeah. So, I, I, in fairness, on the brand, the Deditridge, it, it, it ticks all the boxes. Yeah. It's a seventy-three liter oven capacity, so it's a very large oven. And mm -hmm. very easy to use. And, you know, I know some ovens can be Wi-Fi connected and stuff. Not always me. I, I do love an oven that's easy to use. Mm -hmm. And the Deditridge certainly delivers on that. And they have mm -hmm. a quick start. So the center knob on the oven, just hit the, the center knob three times and it defaults to 180 and, and goes into um, mm -hmm. cooking mode, okay, um, right. which is, is brilliant. And also an oven they don't have to clean and obviously PyroClean invented by the Dedetridge. And mm -hmm. I really stress that a lot. The, the two major selling points for the brand or premium brand, they invented induction and they invented PyroClean and mm. everybody obviously followed suit. But for us, we started that and, and that's amazing. But I suppose getting back to the steam, it's, it's I suppose, a personal choice to a customer. Mm. Um, can be oven microwave versus steam. And I suppose just to make it clear for someone that's not understanding a combi, we're so used to using our own terminology, but a combi oven steamer, we're looking at an oven on its own, a grill on its own, and 100% steam. Wow. And 
Okay. That, that's what a combi oven steamer is. So when someone that's... is thinking, well, what is she talking about? No, there? well, and actually a question just came in there. Is there a grill in the steam oven? There so, yeah, right, is fabulous. Brilliant. Yeah. And, and that's all going back to the whole thing about a double oven, Denise. People think, yeah. I can't be without a double oven. I need a separate grill, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and there is a grill in these small compact appliances. So a combi mm. oven microwave is an oven on its own, a grill on its own, and a microwave mm. on its own. And then the customer has the option to combine, to combinate those three elements together for quicker cooking. So they could do, mm. for example, a chicken in a combi oven microwave for 35, 40 minutes. And wow. it is amazing. And I always like to stress the majority of the cooking is done by the oven and the grill. Yes, we get microwaves introduced, but we are not microwaving the chicken for 45 no. minutes. Oh, um, God, the thought no. of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a fantastic end result. And, yes. you know, as much as we talk about steam and it's wonderful and, and that's the way to go, there is, mm. a, there is still a lot of people that like to eat, but it's not the be all and end all. No, 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 no. They yeah. want quick, reliable food. And the mm -hmm. combi is great for that. Yes. So that's the small compact appliances, one versus the other. Um, yes. Steam, I would put it first for me, with a backup microwave somewhere else. Um, mm. It is fantastic, the combi oven steamer. Um, okay, yeah. great. And is there, uh, so somebody asked me, is there a thing, uh, such a thing as a microwave and steamer in a combi oven? No, not as yet with us. There's not. So there, it, yeah. it might come in, in, in the pipeline as yet, but um, we, we don't do it, the de deep trade, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. No, that's perfect. Good to know. So yeah, if you're interested in the steam, just go with that sort of countertop appliance or a smaller microwave um, exactly. elsewhere. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Fantastic. Wonderful. Okay, amazing. And then what, if you were to give your absolute, well, I suppose it does come down to people's lifestyle and what they want, but people are asking that they can't decide between, now obviously we know about the double oven, so that they were wondering, no, they can't get a double oven, so they, they wanted to know, should they go with two single ovens, uh -huh. uh, a single with a combi microwave, or a single with a combi steam oven? Okay, so... I suppose we've covered a bit of that, but mm. definitely I, I love the idea of two single ovens. Um, it's something mm. I really, really recommend. Mm. And it has come up a very, very often that first someone would go for two single. I suppose the most popular seller certainly is the tower look to the appliance. Mm. So it's a single oven with the combi oven microwave or the combi oven steamer built up okay. over that and what looks very very good as well underneath that is the large warming drawer so it's a 20, yes. 20 29 mm -hmm. centimeter warming drawer denise they come in two sizes 29 centimeters and 14 centimeters mm -hmm. and sometimes people think a warming drawer what's that for it mm -hmm. will do an awful lot more than just heat plates it's a slow cooker in its in itself. It's mm. melting chocolate, preparing yogurt, dissolving gelatin. So mm. it can, you know, do a lot of different things. But from time and doing all the demos, we would have seen a large warming drawer, a single oven, and a combi oven microwave or a combi oven steamer built up over it. Mm -hmm. Also as well, the inline look can look fabulous in the kitchen where you have a single oven. And then beside it, you'll have a small, side by side, yeah, side lovely. By side, um, a small compact appliance, and underneath then you'll need the slim warming drawer, the fourteen centimeter warming drawer, and that will add then to a, a complete um, square. It'll it'll be all the same height, which can look very very good. For me, it would definitely be two single ovens or the single oven with one of the small compact over a double oven. A double mm. oven, the top oven, very small, very, mm. very small. And the whole beauty, I mean, there's so much to talk about, really. The whole beauty of the ovens, say the single oven, a lot of people think I need a separate grill. A grill is a messy way of cooking and it goes spitting, splashing. But the whole beauty of the single oven, which people are not aware of, the fan oven is a hot air cooking system. Mm. So when we do this, rashers or sausages or anything in our head that we want to grill for me i do that on the fan oven mm. it's not the grill i actually use because the mm. hot air will circulate around that food and it mm. will completely brown and completely cook all the way around so it prevents anyone twisting and turning food and it also allows the customer 
to be able to put another dish up over it. So basically mm. you're baking, grilling and roasting in the mm. oven all at the one time through a hot air cooking system, which is the fan oven within mm. the Dietrich. And from June demos at the end of a demo, I, I've seen it so many times where a lady or a gent would come up with their user manual and they'd say, um, thank you, great demo. I can't wait to go home and try that chicken. It looked amazing. That took 35 minutes. And then I'd look at the book and I would say, your top oven, you've gone for a double oven, you know, mm -hmm. nicely trying to tell them you, you mm -hmm. don't have what, what's in the auditorium. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then they yeah. would say, it's such a pity. Had mm -hmm. I known that I yes. could went yes. for this, that's what I would have went for. Mm -hmm. And obviously they're not going to change it. And with mm -hmm. a double oven, you've got to think, the microwave goes up over that again. So you're taking up another bigger. Yeah, it, it's a lot more space. Yeah, so sure. Without sure. a doubt, um, you know, the double ovens definitely for anyone, you know, thinking of a new kitchen, it, it's definitely the single ovens and the small compact appliances or uh, two single ovens, very good also, as opposed to any of the double ovens. Brilliant. OK, yeah. so that's ovens. We have well and truly covered ovens now. I'm just Can looking just at the time. It, Denise, sorry, just before we go. Yeah, the sure. The ovens, I know it was in my head to say, um, given that, you know, the, your nature of work too. The Dietrich offer four colours and I think the choice of colours within the range of ovens that we can offer is fantastic because when you go into an electrical store, you know, you constantly see black or stainless steel and mm. I think people love nowadays something different, something that will stand out. So mm. my point here is the Dietrich will offer four different colors and we are the only to offer such a range i suppose in, in the colors so there's a beautiful absolute black and that's proven to be very popular there's a, a lovely iron gray platinum and pure white mm -hmm. now the pure white is, is really really stunning and and the combi then to match up over it lovely so yeah it's no it's, it's gorgeous and i will share some photos afterwards and stories and things like mm -hmm. that so so people can see you know it's wonderful so Karen, I'm anxious to get to the small domestic appliances as well, but I just, if we could briefly so, um, touch on Hobbs. So the biggest question is gas versus induction. Lots of people saying moving into a new house, we've used gas for 20 years, need to move to electric help, um, you know, asking uh, and as well about the built in extraction. Now we did a huge amount of this with Cyril. So I, I, ha I will share that live because we extensively covered the extraction with Cyril, myself and Cyril. So there is a huge amount of info there. Um, but people just saying, are they noisy? Do they work? What are the options? So maybe you'd give us a little overview about the induction versus gas and then about the downdraft extraction. Absolutely. So I suppose when it comes to hubs, a little bit like the compact and the single, straight away induction is very, very popular. We sell mm -hmm. far more induction hubs now than we do gas. Mm -hmm. And on that point, um, which I've mentioned, the Dietrich invented induction. So they really, really are. Oh, okay. they, yeah, Amazing. they're, they're yeah. invented. They're two very strong selling points that mm. we can always mention and they invented induction so the first point i suppose with a customer denise their pots have to be ferromagnetic so a customer's yeah. pots have to be a magnetic based pot so i always say to a customer even just grab a magnet stick it to the pot if it sticks it's going to work so if somebody has a huge buildup of pots and they're not ferromagnetic they might not want to go to induction. But look, on that point, a lot of people will say, I'm getting a new kitchen, I'm changing my pots. Yeah. And a lot of the time, people's pots are ferromagnetic. Oh yeah, but I'm just gonna say that, it's not as odd as it maybe sounds. So no. any steel pot is gonna work fine. Any of the Le Creuset will work. Um, most pots now, or pans, have got a stainless steel base because so many people are using induction. It's just things like aluminium and stuff. Uh, won't work so yeah it's it's fair and it's they're, they're widely available you know even done all sorts of places sell them so they're yeah i wouldn't be put off by that at all no yeah and you'll always see on the side of a box gas electric ceramic or induction Very but good. induction yeah. the biggest thing for me why i would take induction there's a number of reasons but i think the one thing that stands out is cleaning I hate oh, yeah. the gas hub. It's so uh, hard to keep clean. It's so, it's so hard. 
just when you think yeah. you have it cleaned and you knock the lights yeah. up on the hood for yeah. a, a little bit of um, lighting in the kitchen and then you're like oh dear um you know so cleaning is a big thing and um, induction it tops the pole for everything denise mm. it's it's mm. amazing cleaning safety controllability energy efficiency and um, mm. absolutely fantastic the mm. induction it will take people they'll get used to it because mm. what used to take a couple of minutes will now in an instant it very very quickly and i suppose clean it and safety and, and the whole thing about the gas um very easy to leave the flame but with mm. induction unless there's a pot on the hob the hob is not going to come on the okay. ring is not yeah. going to come on yeah. so from a safety point of view that's mm. absolutely fantastic and mm. mm. um, the induction yeah definitely over gas i will say though the odd time it's still obviously you will meet the person that is that is used to gas and that's what they want and mm. they're very slow to change because they're used to gas more and more chefs are changing to induction but i think we always think of chefs using gas all the time don't we mm. but mm. a lot of the time in cookery schools as well i see where induction has gone in yeah but also as well with the pot so you place the pot down on the the ring it only heats the diameter of the pot. So mm. from an energy efficiency, yeah, it's fantastic. Great. And yeah, if something yeah. over spills on a normal ceramic hob, the outer part of that ring is always mm. hot if it wasn't induction. And mm. something will spill down and, mm. and just stick to the to the hob and you're left scrubbing mm. and cleaning. You don't mm. have that with induction. No, it's um, fabulous. So yeah. Induction is amazing. Absolutely. No, it is. And you know what, uh, Karen, it's fabulous as well. I, I Well, I think is we, a huge amount of questions we get is to do with sink or hob on the island, which is better. <laughs> and, you know, for people who want that clean look, but don't have the space to put the sink and the, the hob wow. on the counter, it, yeah. induction's fabulous to put on the island because it's yeah. so seamless, you know, so you don't get that interruption that you would do with the gas. It's much more of a, exactly. a statement in, that, in the island. So it's great, yeah. And just on the, the hubs as well, of course, the very, very popular ones at the moment and, and the brand we do is mm. Elica. And you've got, you know, to explain to somebody, basically your hood is fitted into mm. your hub. So mm -hmm. it's a fantastic setup known as, as Vented Hubs. And mm -hmm. you'll see uh, the brand Delica, it's a high-end Italian brand and they specialize in hoods as well. Mm -hmm. So they really have mastered the workings of this hood that's built into mm -hmm. the hub. Um, so if someone, you know, as you can imagine, and it, it allows them to put it into an island, the days are gone and nobody wants to walk into a kitchen and see this monster hood hanging from the roof. And, mm -hmm. and, the steel going right across where the options here is the hood built into the hub which very very popular um, oh they're great and and so efficient you know from talking to Cyril the last time because the the extraction is right where you're cooking it's right super you're cooking. it's really effective because so many people are asking do they even work well they do they work really really well you know they they are the latest innovation in extraction so they're Fabulous, fabulous option for people. Fabulous. And mm. also as well, there's a gas option that if somebody, you know, wanted to oh. stick with gas, there's also yeah. a gas option with, with the extractor hood built in as well. And that's Elica. And that's in Elica. And okay, the, the Elica um, switch, you might have seen Cyril talk about it. And yeah. um, in an island, if, if, if they want, which would be nice, they can recess that right into the worktop. So it's a complete flush to Lovely. the to the island or, or on mm. the countertop and especially mm. now a lot of kitchens are open planned and mm. to have the the gas sitting up and and some other options as well and i suppose it depends what way the ceiling is is it a vaulted ceiling or or flat you know there's a lot of hoods as well that can be mounted right up into the ceiling as well as an mm -hmm. option and um, mm -hmm. i do certainly think the the vented hoods in elica are really and truly overtaken um, the hood option as well and mm. um, people are hiding the hood as opposed to oh definitely they're yeah because i mean they you know they really can detract from a kitchen they're also like so many questions about like i'm sick of banging my head off the hood that i have like all of that you know i, know, so, uh, and I yes. think there was a time years ago that the hood was a major feature in the kitchen oh, it was well elica are famous for that they had those beautiful yes. hoods that looked like amazing and, yeah like, they like, were amazing yeah i always, I always say this is ideal for someone 
to buy this that's never going to cook, you know, yes. and won't manage to dirty the hood. No, no, exactly. Some yes. of them are, are really um, They're beautiful. pieces yeah. of furniture. Yeah. Um, but yeah, to answer that question, I suppose for me, definitely induction, for what mm. I see on a daily basis in the showroom, it's induction. And then when someone says gas, you'd really mm. notice the difference. You'd say, all oh, right, gas, any reason why over induction? And they'd give the reasons. Look, I'm just mm. used to gas. It's what I want. I've seen one of the other questions as well, Nee, or Denise, sorry, and um, the, the difference um, between each models and the sizes. Yeah. So our customer has a choice to go for a 60 centimetre, an 80 centimetre, or, or a 90, 93 centimetre, mm. should we say. A lot of the time, the cutout size will be the same if someone is not doing a new kitchen and just removing a hob and putting another one in. So don't be through off if it's a 93 centimetre. Oh, that's interesting. Hob. Okay, so the workings go into that standard size, but then the hob sort of runs over the counter, is that it? Exactly. So sometimes well, okay. people Great. will say that's not an option. It's mm. 93 mm. centimetres, but the cutout size will be similar to what they have. So it's mm -hmm. more it's more the cutout size that we would, would be chasing as opposed to the overall size of the actual hub. But to mention the difference, I mean, I suppose at the end of the day, they'll all do the one job and do it very, very well. You've got different, say, zones, maybe um, a horror zone, a flexi zone, where the full panel can, light, can, can heat up. And mm -hmm. what I love about this really, with the oven, say the tray in the Dietrich oven, if you remove that tray out and say someone had done a roast in the oven and the juices had gone underneath and you're trying to pour it into the saucepan onto the hob, it can be messy. But if they take, for example, the full tray, that tray is ferromagnetic. And if they place ah. it down on, on, on the flexi zone, on the zone that heats completely up and it's pulling yeah. the two areas together, mm they continue to make their gravy in, in the actual in the actual tray. So to have a, a flexi zone, and I suppose the Dietrich, because it is a premium um, product and the products are premium, you've got the griddle pan, you've got a, mm. accessories, a tapenaki, you can go as far as having and, and putting mm. the, like a domino section on the hub as oh, well. And yeah. um, there's some lovely features, uh, one I like and, and use quite a good bit. If there was four or five pots all working away on the hob top and something happened or you had to just go somewhere for, for a couple of minutes. If you turn mm. that off, you've got four minutes grace to return back to the hob, tip the button and it will go back to all the last settings, three, five, mm -hmm. ten, as opposed to trying to set them all, all up again. Yeah, yeah, it's just like a pause, yeah. a little pause function. A pause button, absolutely. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Great. So, and I, I see, like, I see, obviously the showroom is closed now at the moment, but just lots of people asking, um, how can they, can they connect with you? Can they phone up for inquiries if they're yeah. interested in things at the moment? Yeah, okay. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, the whole team, everybody is obviously working from home, um, mm -hmm. but we will be moving forward to, and, and it has been done on a, on a few occasions, a virtual appointment. So Great. Oh, that's fabulous. Be, the new way forward and I think this will be amazing for both mm. the customer and for Cal a lot of the time talking to somebody they would be chatting saying okay will you leave that with me and I'll see if my husband is off I will try to get to the showrooms I'm not too mm. sure if I can get off work whereas mm. now it will be just a matter of being at home and connecting um, through the phones and doing a virtual appointment and great. it's so much more visit. convenient yeah, yeah. it's wonderful there's, you know, I don't think there's many good points from COVID, but this certainly is one uh, is. Yeah, to, yeah. Um, to change yeah. the way um, people, the way we work. And, and this will be fantastic. Um, right. absolutely fantastic. So with, without a doubt, yes, they can still contact myself. And there's different advisors in the showroom as well. Mm. And mm -hmm. we're happy to help on, on inquiries. We get them quite a bit on a daily basis. Great, yes. Karen. Fabulous. Okay, so then can we just jump on to those small domestic appliances? So like we were talking yeah. about the Ninja and obviously um, KitchenAid and all those fabulous brands. So yeah. uh, maybe the air fryer. Can you tell me a bit about that? Because I really am fascinated to, to learn about that one. The air fryer. Absolutely. I suppose the Ninja, 
that group of appliances, SDA. Mm -hmm. So it's the small domestic appliances in Cal that we offer. Mm -hmm. And Ninja has proven, and especially in lockdown, um, to be absolutely amazing. Absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. I think the amount of people that jumped on and got the, the Ninja. And mm -hmm. the Ninja is an air fryer. It's a slow cooker. There's a blender. So there's a range of product within the the ninjas um, and the one thing i would say for me i had the air fryer and i had the slow cooker had all the bits and i was thinking you know these are all just taking up space and, and a mm. lot of people can say that oh it's only another thing i have to store but mm -hmm. what i decided to do and what a lot of people are doing now um which is amazing I, I gave my air fryer to a friend and the slow cooker to another. And I bought what was a three in, in one. So it's an wow. air fryer, it's a slow cooker, and it's a pressure cooker um, wow. all in one. So I Fabulous. just got one. Um, and absolutely amazing. And, you know, we talk so much about ovens. And I can see so many people saying, I haven't used my oven very often since I got my Ninja. Really? But the air fryer... You know, it might be if it's an overkill and someone doesn't want all that. Yeah. But, you know, air fryers have become very, very popular. Mm -hmm. And I, I suppose the, the Ninja air fryer would be the premium of air fryers. And, and sometimes people would maybe purchase one that they got on a special or not lasting as long and will replace it with the Ninja. Mm -hmm. So the air fryer, like anything, um, will be done way quicker. No preheating. And one thing that really took off with a storm the there's a blogger the daily dish she had mentioned the jewel zone air fryer and i at the time was given a hand out in sales for sda mm -hmm. for all the ninjas and working on that side of the house for a bit and my trade customers karen can we get 50 ninjas for next week and then it turned into can we get 100 and 150 and we just it was just amazing. So the wow. Ninja Jewel Zone, if, if you want to separate, so you might have maybe some homemade chips this side and you want to do a bit of fish in it this side, way quicker. And I think now, and as we mentioned during the week, we have been forced into this crazy cooking, whether we like oh, it or not. Not, yeah, that's it. It, it, it is how it is, yeah. It became a running joke. And, and I thought these um, slogans were very good and I, I left them here. I said... Um, I'm not sure how my child will survive back at school without six breakfasts, two lunches and 367 dinners a day. Oh, and, and that's, what it, that's what it got to. <laughs> so I would always say to friends, you know, mm. and family, when, when we start talking, you've got to get these pieces into the kitchen that make life way easier. And a slow cooker I mean, the slow mm. cooker is amazing to put a piece of meat into the slow cooker and leave the house if you have to, or mm. let the slow cooker cook the meat throughout the night. Mm. And we all know to cook meat slower is a way nicer result. But they offer a fantastic slow cooker as well. But the air mm. fryer's amazing. Also a blender as well. There's a blender within the range. And right. you just fill it up, put your sweet mm -hmm. potatoes, your carrots, all your different veg, blend mm. it, a bit of stock, a bit of water, and your soup is made. Wow, it, it, so it's a soup maker blender. Sort of. Absolutely, and it's wow, sitting okay. Denise on a hot plate. So okay. that's the beauty, the fact that it's, it's on the hot plate, so it's, it's heated as well as, as blending, as mm -hmm. well as doing everything to, mm -hmm. at, at the end, to pour the soup straight out. So the blender, definitely, um, and I've seen on this Ninja Warrior um, Facebook group, I, I'm always on looking just to, to have a look. I've seen kitchens where they have completely designed their kitchens around to all these Ninja pieces. They've built in a slot for the, the three-in-one and the, their blender here and their grill, their health grill as well. Um, also, yeah, but the Ninja, a fantastic product. We will have it all um, and do have it all on display as well in Cal, mm. in the mm -hmm. showroom, if anybody wants to, when we open, to view it properly and yeah. um, see which would suit them best. And I think it's mm. careful not to do an overkill on it as well. I, I think ah, the yeah. three-in-one yeah. three is great. And the pressure cooker, a little bit, you know, the quicker way of cooking a chicken, 
35 minutes done yeah it's well. fantastic yeah in the yeah. in the three in one mm-hmm. but then amazing the, right. well that sounds fabulous wow no i'll definitely be, lo- be looking that up so if people are interested this is all on your website if people want to look up all the products it's on the and, website yeah. absolutely www.cal.ie okay. um all on the website and um the one thing as well, I always say, I think these virtual appointments will be amazing. You know, it'll take yeah. people not having to travel to the showrooms. But if, if they can, do come mm-hmm. to the showrooms. And I think moving forward, when times change and restrictions lift, you know, the 49 seater auditorium that we have, and um, there will be ongoing demonstrations. And that's the yeah, it's fabulous. Offer. No, you really yeah. have a fabulous facility. And I know we would always encourage people to pop out just that you can compare and contrast because you have all the brands sitting there and people can see it and they can see all the different components that they're thinking about and all of your fabulous staff are there to explain and you know teach people how to use them and then the try as you buy like that's invaluable Karen for people so it is and I think the really biggest thing out. when people buy these products, the first thing they say is, how am I going to use this? I won't be able to use this. Yeah, exactly. It's so, new, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So look, it's there and, and people yeah. can come along to a demonstration, even on the small appliances or, mm-hmm. or the bigger. Um, but just on that note as well, cause, because we're talking about the small appliances, the KitchenAid as well. Yes. Um, has yeah. has been huge and um, very very popular i suppose KitchenAid and and you would have seen them as well denise they really are a piece of furniture for the kitchen oh, they're beautiful appliances yeah they're, they're really lovely they they really are and um they they stay on the countertop should we say but all mm. the different colors the the beautiful colors and a, a lovely range of bowls to go with the mixer as well so they're a real mm-hmm. um statement mm-hmm. and you know, it depends. I always say it's a lovely if someone didn't want to even give money as a wedding present. It's a lovely gift to give. And mm. it's a you're always trying to think of stuff to buy for people. Mm. And mm. they have so much. But I always think if somebody has a KitchenAid, it's great even to pick them up. I mean, just to name a few. And I, I didn't realize it on the front of the KitchenAid to remove the attachment. It's far more than just a food mixer because you have a number of different optional accessories that you can attach to the front of the KitchenAid without using the actual bowl and oh. use the motor of, of the, the, the mixer to drive the gourmet pasta press, a slow juicer, um, really, also a, a, food yeah. pro- a food processor, um, also a sieve, so to sieve flour. Um, so, and, and the one thing I love that I, I would use quite a bit is the... Um, spiralizer and I oh, always yes. think yeah. trying to encourage young yeah. children to eat this apple or some carrot yeah. and maybe if it's completely spiralized as yeah. well it might add to it or even myself if you're trying to say right let's eat some salads and put it mm. into a spiral it might mm. encourage us to eat it more but um, a number of different attachments and great to, cool. to pick as, as a present for somebody, yeah. the KitchenAid yeah. owner, one of the, the accessories. Amazing. You know? And then again, does away with all those, you know, multiple appliances that you can't find. You're they're back at the back of the cupboard or whatever. You've just got the one and yeah. it does everything. So, yeah, yeah. invaluable. No, yes, no, beautiful product. The KitchenAid is um, beautiful. And look, I suppose I'm probably being biased now, but mm. we do carry a lovely range of, of product in Cal be it small domestic appliances um, or, or the built-in or, or, or the, built-in. the beach yeah. um, as well, the cooking end of it, you know, which is fabulous. Really great. No, Karen, thank you so much. Well, listen, that's amazing advice. There's so much information there. Yeah. Um, okay. I encourage everybody to look at the website and definitely reach out to, to the team at Cal if you have any questions. Yeah. And uh, yes, and for anybody, do go back and watch some of the other lives that I did with Cyril because we did cover a huge amount, especially on induction, on extraction, uh, and some of the other large appliances like fridges and freezers, and the boiling water taps. We cover that extensively too. So I'll share everything so everybody has the info. Yeah. But Karen, thank you so much. Very Enjoy awesome. the rest of your weekend. That was so fantastic. Much. I'm away to look up about the ninja now. Uh, oh, fascinated. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks a million. Thank you so Thanks much. For having- Have a lovely weekend. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.